In the video today, I want to talk to you about things that you can do if you are feeling emotionally drained. I want to share a story with you. Now, many years ago, I was going through quite a difficult patch in my life and this one particular evening, I was at home and I was lying in the bath and I was crying. And I was so sad, I was sobbing my heart out and I was just crying about the world, I was crying about my own life, I was crying about the people in my life and I, I literally I was crying about everything. And while I was busy crying, something very interesting happened. I, I split in two is the best way for me to explain this. While I was crying, there was a part of me that began to observe myself while I was crying and this observer did not have any emotional feelings or any attachments to what I was seeing. I was merely being very curious and I was looking at what I was crying about and how I was crying and the emotions that I was feeling. So really I sat with three situations. That's how I interpret it now looking back. It's, there were three situations. The, the first situation is that it, or, or aspect. The first aspect or situation was that it was the present moment. So I was literally in the bath. The second aspect was that I was crying about something that I was thinking and feeling about. And the third aspect was that I was observing myself doing this. And that was a very pivotal turning point in my life when I realized that I was not the crier. I was the crier and the observer. And what became very clear for me while I was observing myself crying like this is that I was completely stuck in the story of my life. So the reality was I was in a bath, it was a very comfortable bath, the water was nice and warm, but in my mind and in my emotions I was in a completely different place. I had completely bought into the fact or the, the belief rather that I am feeling powerless, that there are not many options for me, I'm exhausted, I am helpless, I feel like a victim, nobody understands me, I don't know how I'm ever going to get out of this, I need to control my world in order to feel safe. So there were all of these conversations going on there. And I bet that if you take a look at your life, you might even recognize places where you are stuck in story, where you buy into the idea of, I have no power, I am a victim, I don't have any other choice. This is a terrible, terrible situation that I'm never going to get out of. Now, connecting to your breath is one of the things that's going to bring you into the present moment. Remember that when we are stuck in story, it holds us either in the past or it holds us in the future. And our breath is in the present moment because our body lives in the present moment. So one of the fastest and easiest and most effective ways that I know of to connect to your body, to connect into the present moment and to become mindful of the present moment is to connect with your breath. And a very good time to do this is the first thing when you wake up in the morning. As soon as we wake up, we tend to engage with the story of who we are. So the way that you connect with your breath is very, very easy. You can lay one hand on your heart and do this while you're lying in bed. So lay a hand on your heart and while your eyes are still closed, you just focus on the sound and the sensation of your breath as you inhale and exhale. And this is a very powerful technique to disengage you from the story that we have in our minds the whole time. So begin to do this regularly every morning when you wake up, before you do anything else, before you begin to think about who you are and where you fit into the world, do this breath connecting exercise. Now I just want to talk about meditation here a little bit. And I do talk about meditation quite often in my videos. I believe that it is an incredibly helpful tool to get you centered and to get you grounded. But when I try to meditate, when I'm feeling stressed out, anxious and emotionally drained, my meditations don't work. They just make me feel more anxious because I seem to have all of these anxious thoughts and 
fears and emotions and sensations that just flood my brain and my body. So meditating while I was feeling like this is something that has been a problem and a struggle for me for a very long time. And then what I discovered, and I'm hoping that this will be able to help you if you are maybe experiencing the same challenge as what I did. What I discovered is that when I give my mind and my attention something to do, then it allows those thoughts to calm down. The meditation that I am using that helps me the most is called the body scan meditation. We are so much more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. And we allow ourselves to become emotionally drained and mentally drained by all of the stories that we buy into. And the moment that your thinking mind or your story mind begins to run the show, that is the moment where we lose our power. So I really hope that you have gotten some ideas out of this video to help you to step back into your own power. Please remember to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.